Greetings to everyone out there and welcome back to Around the Clock. Alright everybody, today is the day. Sonic Frontiers is now available on all major consoles and I plan on picking up my copy later on today. Now for those of you out there who want to know the fastest way to complete the game, I know this video isn't specifically made for speedrunners but I think speedrunners can take advantage of this info. Well, in a recent interview with Shaq News, Takashi Azuka, head of the Sonic team, shared some interesting info on how to complete the game. Here's what he had to say. So yes, Sonic is, you know, an action character in an action game. We're not doing a role-playing game uh, for Sonic Frontiers. But we did want to have, you know, Sonic being able to... We did want people to be able to clear the game using only the base skills that you have at Island 1. Uh, if you have the technical skills, if you have the play, uh, you know, technique, you can beat the game without leveling up or improving or adding anything to your uh, skill tree. But we did want to implement the skill tree and we did want to implement improvements to speed or health or defense uh, as a way to kind of give him more abilities, more things to do. Uh, he can run faster, he can boost uh, longer. Uh, these are all things that we wanted to kind of fortify and improve on Sonic's uh, abilities and actions that he can uh, partake in the game. Not just to make the game easier, although some people may find the game easier to level him up and have all these actions. Uh, but it's not just to make it easier, it's really to also make sure people are going out and exploring the world and finding all these things in the world and having them give you some use in the game. So yes, you can go find Coco uh, as something to do in the world and by finding Coco you get rewarded by you know, turning them in uh, and improving your character. So there's lots of things to do, there's lots of things to explore. Uh, we wanted people to explore and have a fun time and we wanted to also reward them for finding all those things. So they will have it and I found that quite interesting because he stated there that they made the game to where you could complete the game with all of the basic skills that you learned on the first island and you really don't have to upgrade Sonic throughout the game in order to complete it but you do have to be technically sound in order to do this but it can be done. But really what's the fun in that right? For me personally I want to learn as many skills as possible as I can and power up Sonic as far as I can as well. This is all why Sega made the game the way that they did because they want players to explore these huge islands and get as many power ups and find little secrets here and there so that players get that sense of exploration in this open world Sonic game. And yes, there are some linear areas of the game like the cyberspace stages, but I think that's the only linear part of the game. Everything else is really open world. So hey, if you want to complete the game with just using your basic skills that you learned on the first island, that is probably the fastest way to complete the game, but like I said man, I personally want to explore as much of the game as possible. Now just real quick, the review scores are in for Sonic Frontiers and they look really decent. You have IGN with a 7 out of 10, GameSpot with a 7 out of 10, Game Informer with a 7.75 out of 10, GameSpeed with a 4 out of 5, Games Radar with a 2 out of 5 which is quite strange, Easy Allies with a 7 out of 10, Metro with an 8 out of 10, Game Explained is mixed and at the time that I'm recording this video, your gamer is not available. Now Metacritic also has their review scores in and at the time that I'm recording this video, they gave this game a 73 score and it looks like the PS5 is the only platform that has been reviewed so far. Right now, I don't see any reviews for the Switch version but by the time this video airs, it probably will be there. So yeah, the critics seem to be pretty pleased with this game and I'm going to find out myself because I'm picking up the game anyway. With that being said, that's going to do it for this video and what are your thoughts on everything discussed here? Please let me know down in the comment section and please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and as always remember to keep it locked here at Around the Clock. We're here, we focus on Nintendo News content around the clock. I'll catch you guys in the next video.